Could it be the Colorado Buffaloes and Coach Prime be the first team to jump from the Pac-12 to the Big 12? According to some reports recently, it's something we need to keep our eye on. Pull up a chair, sit back, relax, and let's talk about it. What is up, college sports fans, Big 12 fans, and fellow members of Mountaineer Nation? This is Coos. Welcome in to another edition of Coos's Corner. Pull that chair up and let me serve you up this shot of top shelf college football content. On tap in today's episode, we are once again talking about the Pac-12 media saga and what potential Pac-12 teams could leave for the Big 12. Now, among all the Pac-12 presidents and ADs that have come out and spoken publicly, and all the teams that have appeared in recent media reports, one team we haven't heard much about is the Colorado Buffaloes. Well, that has now changed. You remember over the weekend, Jason Shear, who covers the Arizona Wildcats for Wildcat Authority, which is part of the 24-7 sports family, Jason put out a tweet saying that Brett Yormark met with Colorado for five hours in recent days. I shared that tweet on one of my recent videos. I'll link to it at the end here. And But so Colorado and Brett Yormark apparently met, according to Jason Shear, for five hours. Now, a second report is out from a separate media source saying, also mentioning Colorado. This time, it's from Andrew Marshan. Most of you know Andrew Marshan from the Sports Business Journal podcast, or the Sports Media podcast, I, I should say, uh, with John Iran. But Andrew writes for the New York Post, and he is as well-connected to the sports media industry as about anybody out there. He and John Iran are. So if anybody would know what's going on, it would be Andrew Marchand. But in a recent article in the New York Post, Marchand made an interesting quote, and I'm going to share that with you. Now, the one I'm sharing with you actually comes from Sports Illustrated. Fan Nation, which is a part of the Sports Illustrated family, and the article says, on Monday, Andrew Marchand of the New York Post reported that Colorado is a candidate to defect from the Pac-12 and join the Big 12. Marchand wrote, and I quote, we will add this to the conversation around potential defections from Pac-12 to the Big 12. Watch Colorado, end quote. I'm going to read that again. This is a quote from Andrew Marchand with the New York Post. We will add this to the conversation around potential defections from Pac-12 to the Big 12. Watch Colorado. Folks, that's big. Very short, but very important in my opinion. Now, that is two legitimate media sources that have mentioned Colorado as someone who could potentially be interested in the Pac-12. And it goes along with what we've been hearing for months. We heard Dennis Dodd say a couple weeks ago that if any members of the Pac-12 leave for the Big 12, he thinks it would be Arizona and Colorado. Now, I read some stuff on Colorado message boards several weeks ago. Matter of fact, it's been about a month now that I've been holding on to. Now, I know message board stuff is typically just speculation, and it has to be taken with not just a grain of salt, but probably a whole shaker of salt, which, by the way, that makes me really want a margarita. But I digress. Anyway, I feel these reports coming out today give these message board comments a little more weight, because keep in mind, like I said, these comments were written on this message board about a month ago. So here's what I found on these message boards regarding Colorado to the Big 12. First off, the person who put this on the message board is one of those people that when you when you go through the comments, everyone else on the message board trusts what they're saying. So apparently it's someone who has been accurate before in some of their interpretations or predictions, whatever you want to call it. It's apparently someone who may, they could be someone in the know, or it could at least be someone who's somewhat connected to the program. But like I said, it is a message board. And this person even put a disclaimer at the top of one of their posts, and it said that not even good connected sources know exactly what's going on when it comes to this stuff. So this person was up front and said, look, this I'm not telling you this is definitely going to happen. This is just what I'm hearing, and I'm just relaying this to you. Now, I'm not sharing whole post with you or all the posts with you. There are multiple posts. I'm not sharing them all with you because it is a message board. You do have to pay to be on it, and I don't think it's fair to share everything with you. But I am going to share some bullets and some highlights because I think it ties into this story. Another interesting piece of it, another interesting post. Colorado and Arizona have reminded Oregon and Washington that they don't have all the power. 
and that Arizona and Colorado also have some leverage. But what, what that tells me is that the leverage Colorado and Arizona has is potentially going to the Big 12 because they know the Big 12 is interested and they know the Big 12 will take them, so they know that if this thing falls apart with the Pac-12, they have somewhere to go. Another part of this post, University of Oregon and University of Washington have had recent conversations with the Big Ten, but this person's source didn't know where that stood or where those talks stand. So Oregon and Washington, just like we've all heard from many, multiple sources, have talked with the Big Ten, but we don't know what's going to happen with that of anything. This person also noted that George Klyovkov has very little leverage right now. In another post, this message board person commented also that from what he's hearing from his sources, there's an 85% chance Colorado ends up in the Big 12. That's a big deal, folks. 85% chance. That tells me that people are not happy in Colorado. And then last but not least, in the part most of you are probably interested in, what does Coach Prime have to say about this whole thing? When asked what Coach Prime wants, this is what this person st stated on the message board. He's pushing for the Big 12 behind the scenes. Now guys, remember this. Coach Prime once had a home in Dallas-Fort Worth area. He spent much of his NFL career with the Dallas Cowboys. And we also remember he coached high school football in the state of Texas. So I'm sure he has a lot of his connections remaining there. And I'm sure he would love to be able to recruit the state of Texas and utilize those connections. It would be harder in my opinion, or I'm sorry, it would be easier in my opinion to recruit players to Colorado if you were in the – Texas players to the Colorado if you were in the Big 12 and they were going to play about half of their games in the state of Texas or at least a large portion of their games versus trying to recruit them to a school who plays most of their games on the West Coast. They would have – think about it. Travel would be easier for these Texas recruits in the Big 12 conference for their parents to attend games for them to travel home on weekends, things like that. So, I now, will they do what Coach Prime wants? Probably not. Coach Prime is a football coach. Football coaches don't always have say in these matters for multiple reasons. Number one, they're not looking at the things at the university level all the time that the presidents are looking at. And also, coaches come and go. He could be gone in two to three years, and they don't want to make a long-term decision based on what a coach who may not be there in three years wants. But that being said, if there's any coach that would have pull in a situation like this, Coach Prime would be that guy. And, you know, he's big on exposure. They have the whole YouTube channel. They like to film a lot of the stuff they do. They're really big on marketing and exposure. Coach Prime is a master at that. What better person to marry yourself to than Brett Yormark? If you're Colorado, Brett Yormark and Coach Prime to me, is a perfect fit. I heard this, heard Monty mentioned this on the Monty show as well, and I totally agree with it. What a fit it would be. Coach Prime, Brett Yormark, it would be a marketing juggernaut, in my opinion. I know I'm a West Virginia fan, and it wouldn't really help our travel situation any bringing Colorado into the conference. But, man, how exciting would it be to have Coach Prime in the Big 12? It would bring a lot more exposure to our league. And like I said, it would be a, could be a marketing juggernaut. You would probably have more games on on big networks. I'm just telling you, I think it's I think it would be a home run for the league, even if it's a short even if it's a short term bump in exposure to get Coach Prime and Colorado into the conference. To me, is a home run. Now, I would not want to have to play against Coach Prime, and I would not want West Virginia to have to recruit against him. That being said, I want to hear your thoughts, Big Twelve fans, West Virginia fans, and just college football fans, Colorado fans. What do you think? about this, these stories that are now coming out, seeping out a little bit at a time about Colorado potentially looking at the Big 12. And we all know this Pac-12 deal is taking forever. And there, there's a lot of teams that may be getting cold feet as far as staying in the Pac-12. What do you think about Colorado potentially jumping to the Big 12? And do you think Coach Prime would want to be in the Big 12? Or do you think he's just as happy in the Pac? I want to hear your thoughts. But ladies and gentlemen, I asked if you – if you can, please support me here on my show. There's several different ways you can support me financially if you have the means to. You can check out my merch store. There's a link in the description box, or there are photos of my merch below. Below the description box, you can click on one of those photos. It'll take you right into my merch store. There are several different designs and several different items to choose from. You can make a one-time donation by using the heart thanks button below. 
You can join my channel, become a channel member, take advantage of the perks that has to offer. Uh, I have a link, folks. If you want to get yourself some delicious coffee, go to Blue Ridge Coffee Crafters. There's a link in my description box. Get you yourself some smooth, delicious, all-natural coffee made from hand-picked coffee beans. You won't regret it, folks. And once you make your purchase, while you're making your purchase, if you put Coozes, C-O-U-Z apostrophe S, in the description box, I will get a small commission from that sale. Last but not least, if you want to support me absolutely free, there are four ways you can do it. You can like this video by hitting the thumbs up button. You can share it with your friends. Drop that comment below that I mentioned earlier. And last but not least, hit the subscribe button. I've made it to 5,000, but now I need your help to get to 10,000. That's the next big goal. Help me get to 10,000 subscribers. Please hit that button for me if you haven't yet. With that being said, I really appreciate you tuning in to this episode. And until the next one, Q Country Roads.